animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful animator tips within 5 minutes. Today we're tackling lens dirt. Let's begin. Now the lens dirt is in the camera effects, which means if you want to see the effect, you gotta turn on HD render mode. However, if I turn on lens dirt, nothing changes. If you take a look at the texture, it says default none, which means we have to give it a texture in order for it to do something. So let's go ahead and use something like this. The texture is just a bunch of speckles on the screen, and there's still nothing on there because you have to select the texture. It's not even selected. Once again, nothing is on the image, because the main takeaway of the lens dirt is that it has to work with either bloom or glow. Even says so on the options here. We don't have any bloom or glow in the shot. So let's turn on bloom first. So just added some bloom on the sky, raised the intensity and radius, so we have some bloom in the shot. If we take a look at our lens dirt now, as you see, we are getting some changes on the edges there. And now that you have a proper setup, let me explain how that works. As I said before, the lens dirt appears on either bloom or glow. In this case, we've got bloom on the sky. And what lens dirt does is it creates that bloom in a pattern which is on the image. So in this case, I have a bunch of speckles on the screen. So bloom is gonna get created in the shape of the speckles around your already existing bloom. If I raise the radius up and down, you can see there's multiple speckles speckles appearing down below. Let's raise the intensity and let's drop down the power. And as you see, around our already existing blooming areas, we are generating more bloom in the shape of the speckles on my image. There's your bloom, there's your texture, and depending on your settings, more bloom is going to appear in the shape of that texture. That's all. So let's take a look at what that is. Radius determines how far away the bloom is gonna generate from your original image. So the bigger the radius, the bloom is going to appear further away from the glowing surface. The intensity measures the intensity of your speckles, and power determines how bright your image needs to be in order for it to generate a blooming surface. So if I just do something real quick, I'm gonna take my lens dirt texture, and I'm going to add a bunch of stuff. This is what the image looks like, by the way. As you figured out, the dark areas are ignored and the gray areas generate your bloom. If I, for an example, add a white line right here, that's it, that's what I'm gonna do. Save it. And if I use that image here, what you will see is that line is generating the most bloom. And if I raise the power up, that line is still generating bloom, even though the power is at 300%. Power is a very sensitive thing. If I, if I come back to my original image, you can see as soon as I raise it up just a little bit, it already starts disappearing everything. But because the line that I drew was completely white, it's gonna remain on there for quite a while. Summarization. Lens dirt appears on blooming and glowing surfaces. Check. It creates more bloom on bright areas of the image that you put in. Check. You can control those parameters with radius, determining how far away the glow is gonna appear, intensity, how strong it's gonna be, and power, how bright your image has to be in order for it to glow at all. Lens dirt is used to create effects onto your lens. For example, there's little dust pieces on your image sensor, just like actual cameras. You can use it to create some interesting effects, such as wet lens or, you know, stuff like that. Get creative. Now that's all for me today, hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any questions you want to see, scroll down in the comments section and leave it there for me. I'm getting low on ideas for these, I need some suggestions in the comments. Anyways, please drop a like on the video if you liked it, and hit the bell if you enjoy your daily dose of knowledge on the go. Stay sharp.